Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix Windows 7 updates. Now, these two errors are the most common errors you can get in Windows 7. So, as you can see, I'm checking for updates, and it gives this error code, the same error code that I got on the Windows Vista video where I fixed the updates. Well, this is an easy fix. First, you need to check your system properties and make sure it says Service Pack 1. If it doesn't, then you need to install that first before we continue. So I'm going to install Service Pack 1 on this and that way we will be able to continue with the next step. Now that we have Service Pack 1 installed, we can continue with the next step, but first we'll show that checking Windows Update will not fix the issue, but if we go into the properties there, you can now see Service Pack 1. So now we're going to install this KB, which I'll leave in the description, because there's a few updates you'll need to install to fix all of these errors, which I highly recommend you install all of these updates in the beginning and then run Windows Updates, but in this demonstration, I show what happens if I only just install the one first. So anyways, that's that. So after the reboot, I went back into Windows Update, I clicked check for updates, and you'll notice something different. So we got almost 200 updates, so this is the way I usually install updates, and I highly recommend you guys do this because if you install a ton of updates, it'll fail. So I sort it by size, and I start by installing the smallest updates first. I recommend doing 50 at a time. I was able to get away with a bit more because usually it's when it's over 100 updates is when it would fail because I guess it's just too many. However, in some cases, all updates will install if you have an SSD. As you can see, there are still some error codes there, but that's due to the other updates we need to install. But I do repeat the process of installing like 50 updates, or actually 60 in this case. As you can see, we still got the error codes, so now I'm just going to repeat the process of just installing every single update until we get to those last few updates that have errors, and then I'll show you guys how to fix that. As you guys can see, these three updates failed to install with that error code as I tried installing them twice. So now we're going to go back to the folder and install these last two updates. As you can see with this second update, it's going to say it's already installed since I had already ran Windows Update and it seems to install that one. But if you're installing these in the beginning, you shouldn't get that message. But as you guys noticed, the last update was not installed by Windows Update, which is why this error is happening. So now we're going to go back to Windows Update and retry those updates and you guys will watch that they will successfully install. As you guys see, the updates were successful as we didn't get that error that time, so now we're going to reboot and check for updates, and pretty much for the rest of this video, I just keep going back to Windows Update, checking for updates, installing every single update that's available, restarting, and pretty much just repeating that process until the system is fully up to date. There is something I will say though about this, is that Yes, installing these three updates will fix the Windows 7 updates, however, it's still not recommended to use Windows 7 as it ended support in January 2020, as you guys can see with that Windows 7 end of support message. You can see it also installs the new Edge, but I just killed it in Task Manager. But anyways, the rest of this video is just me fully updating the system entirely, so this will fix all of your update issues with Windows 7. You will see a few more error messages, however, installing more updates seems to fix it, because it's probably just an issue with an update needs another update, or it needs to reboot or something like that. But in the end, we get the system fully up to date. So the reason why Windows Update has issues in Windows 7 is due to Microsoft ending SHA1, and also the fact that all new updates were signed with SHA2. I'm not sure why the update is not offered through Windows Update. Well, one of them is, but the other one isn't. I'm not really sure why, but that is why it does not work. So anyways, you can just enjoy the rest of the video watching me update the system. 
If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll try and help. But that will conclude how to fix the two most common Windows 7 update errors. And as you guys will see in this check, it says Windows is up to date. So now we are fully up to date. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and have a great day and bye-bye for now.